Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Backyard Bushcrafters. Today we're going to take a look at some 550 paracord. Paracord is essential to have in a survival situation because it can be used for many different things. Newer style paracord today comes with extra features. This one from Zippo has one of those extra features. We went to their website and it's not in stock but you can find it still on Amazon. The SKU number is 40493. It's listing for 13 bucks on their website. So this 550 tinsel strength, 550 pounds tinsel strength cord. It has a inner wax paraffin cord along with the additional strands. That is a fire starter. It can be ignited with spark or a fire. One inch of the cord equals approximately 30 seconds of burn time. You get 50 feet of this paracord and you get a little carabiner to hold it. Obviously that's not a climbing carabiner. So we'll just read a little bit from their website. Um, it's a versatile fire starter inside. Woven together, it has a tinsel strength of 550 pounds. That's where you get the 550 cord name from. It's uh, eight strands of cordage in the middle, 50 feet length, paraffin coated red fire starting cord. Says it can start up to 600 fires. And again, one inch of cord is around 30 seconds of burn time. So it weighs about seven ounces. And that's really it. It's just paracord. It can be used for many, many different things. Stringing up a tent. I mean, tying stuff off. Fishing. Uh, literally everything. It's just, it's just a good tool to have. So... What we're going to do is we're going to show exactly what comes inside of it. Move this out of the way real quick. This is the outer sheath right there. Inside the sheath you're going to have seven strands of regular cord. Then you're going to have this one paraffin cover cord. And there it is. Try to get that in focus. All that's going to be inside in the middle of that. So used together around 550 pounds of tinsel strength. So we'll take a piece of this out and usually burn the end off, but that's how it looks on the inside there. And you have that little piece of red cordage in there. And 50 feet is enough just to carry on you. You know, good. it's good, good rope. So again, each one of these individual strands can be used for something different, tying something off. You can use it for fishing. Um, I mean, there's just tons and tons of uses for this stuff. Kindling, all that types of stuff. So we're going to fray out a little bit of the end of this red fire starter here. And we're going to see if we can get it to spark. And the reason why we're fraying it is because we want the little tiny cotton cords and everything to catch the spark. And see how we frayed it out a bit there. So we're going to hold it up in the air there. And we will see how easy it is to light. Alright. You want to try and light that, my lovely assistant? We'll see if I can. Alright, so the, we're using one of the uh, other Zippo fire starting tools. We haven't reviewed this one yet. But this is part of their... Um, emergency fire kit set up and this is just a tinder sparker with some little um, wax paraffin cylinders in there but we'll review this one later we're just going to use the spark right now because we know a flame will light it but let's see if we can get the spark to do it so see, arrow faces the that, arrow faces what I'm yeah lighting. what you want to light uh -huh. this is a little arrow on there yeah okay, you're good you're, I'm lighting. you're good you're in frame just pay attention to that. You're, I, I I'm got not worried about that. I'm worried about burning myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It sparked. Okay, so you got to get like right on it. Wait a minute. It's really bright. I don't know if it's working. No, it's. it, it didn't look like it was getting anything. Go ahead and try it again. Get it right on there. All right, let's see if we can get it here. Use it or... Potentially. Mm. 
And there it goes. And it does light. And that's, it was roughly, that's a little less than an inch. So it, it is right on point with burning for about 30 seconds for the inch. Let's see if it'll burn right onto that 550 cord there. Probably not. And there you go. So yeah, you can start that little fire tinder with uh, a spark. It's obviously going to be a little harder. With the flame, it's much easier, but their claims do hold true. So that's really it. I mean, for 13 bucks, 50 feet of 550 cord, a carabiner to carry it with you, and some fire starting tools in the middle. So a pretty decent deal. What do you think? I think it'll come in useful. Very handy, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it it provides a little bit of a flame for you know a quick time being, and then again, you still have some of your cordage left over, and even this you can use as a belt or anything. I even learned another way to carry it around. Uh, we made bracelets out of it and put little um, snap rings to it so that you can keep it around your wrist instead of carrying it. And like a 550 core bracelet it's about 10 you know you can get about 10 feet on there five to ten feet which is more than enough for one person uh, in a survival situation mm -hmm. so yeah that's really it it did everything it said um, there was no gimmicks on it it's it's rope it starts fire so stay tuned for more episodes thanks for watching